Welcome to our third and final installment of Chapter 10, How Do We Manage and Sustain Grasslands? Some numbers I want you to think about um, while we go through this lecture. Let's see, 330 million, 600 million, 2.6 billion, and 2.1 billion. Mm, okay. So grasslands are another large um, biome. They exist, if you remember back to our convection cells, they exist between our forests and our deserts. In between, you find our grasslands. It, it, it um, occupy a huge percentage of the United States of America, right, our grasslands. So let's see. Second to most altered ecosystem after forests. Forests are altered for wood for products and for clearing. And um, let's see, right, so vital for agriculture. The grasslands are considered the bread baskets of the world, right? This is a great area to grow crops. You don't have to clear anything when you're in forest. Um, and, and you can grow, we grow here in the United States wheat and corn. Uh, so great bread baskets, great areas to grow crops. Rangelands, um, we also use gra grasslands for rangelands. They're, so they're unfenced and they supply forage for our cattle, okay? 42% of grasslands feed livestock. Um, by 2050, 70% will feed livestock. So I have crops here with a question mark because if we're going to dedicate more than half of our uh, grasslands and rangelands to feeding cattle, how are we going to grow the fruits and vegetables that we rely on? We already know that overconsumption of meat um, is bad for the environment, bad for health. So if we're going to continue to move in that direction, it's going to be pretty sad. Um, Especially right now, considering you can go and buy a, a hamburger at McDonald's for 99 cents, but you go to the store to buy a tomato and it's $1.99 for like one and a half tomatoes. It's insane. So we need to kind of rethink this priority. And I'm not saying don't eat meat, I'm just saying eat less of it. You know what I mean? Let's just, let's just quantify everything and, and, and maybe even figure this mess out. Um, Overgrazing. Too many animals grazing uh, exceeds the carrying capacity of the rangeland and you end up with this. Right? You're ripping the roots out, just like with the trees. If you rip the trees out, you rip the root systems out, then there's nothing to absorb the water. There's nothing to hold on to the soil, so it rose away with wind and rain. Um, you end up with this, uh, desertification, this is called. And actually, uh, deserts are the fastest growing biome on the planet because of this right here, overgrazing. Because as every single country in the world develops, a sign of affluence or wealth is increased meat consumption. So as the world continues to, to develop, and we see India and China getting ready to boom as they already are, they want to eat the same quantity of meat that we do in the States. So this is a problem that's going to increase. So this, and this, and this, and this are problems that will increase. So with no plants to absorb the water, we get f uh, flooding, flash floods, mudslides, and soil compaction. So you get all of, of this area right here, right? We've ripped out the roots, right? There's, there's nothing there anymore. No organisms in the dirt, no worms moving through. So it just gets flat. And as the rain pounds it, it gets compacted even more. And then th that area is just dead. Very sad. Once it gets to this point, very little can ever grow there. So how do we manage these rangelands? Rotational grazing. Right? Uh, instead of allowing these cows to overgraze one area, you actually map out on this range where you're going to have them and where you're going to move them. Um, and then you actually, that's what you do. You, you let them spend one week here and then you move them over here. Or maybe some of them even do it day by day. And they just move these herds of cow across this range then so they don't outstrip the grass in one area. Um, protect riparian zones. Riparian zones are those very lush areas alongside riverbanks. As rivers flood every year, every other year, every five years, depending on where they are, they'll flood over the riverbanks, right, and they deposit nutrients and, and soil onto the, the shores of the river, right, and that's why those areas are very, very lush, you know, as riparian zones. Um, and if we overgraze them, then we destroy them. So we remove invasive species uh, that displace native grasses and replant before ero uh, erosion takes place, before you get to 
this right here. You gotta replant before you get there, because once you get here, there's no coming back. Um, so this is a picture of the same place, and this is seven years after uh, they removed these cattle, and they let this area come back. All right, it's amazing. So those numbers, 330 million. That is the amount spent this Halloween on pet costumes. Uh, three, sorry, 2.6 billion was the amount spent on candy this Halloween. Uh, 2.1 billion was the amount spent on costumes for people. Um, 600 million was the pounds of candy purchased in the United States this year, which is equivalent to six Titanics, Titanic ships. Crazy. All right. Bye.